You are welcome on SLTV Lab. Let's see cardiac auscultation. So cardiac auscultation is the test done in order to hear the heart sounds. And those sounds are two. And they are S1 and S2. The S1 sound stands for the closure of atrioventricular valves or the valves between the atria and ventricles. And the S2 sounds is for the closure of semirenal valves, dorsal, aortic, and pulmonal valves. And the heart sound S is rap, S2 is dab. So when you hear them, they will sound like rap, dab, rap, dab, rap, dab. The S1 sound is a very low sound, but it lasts longer than the S2. You get me? S1 is low sound, but it lasts longer than S2. We are going to find out. So guys, you can also differentiate the sound S1 and S2 as follows. S1 also sound as boom and S2 as tuck. So they will sound like this. Boom, tuck, boom, tuck, boom, tuck, boom, tuck, boom, tuck. I think these are the easiest way to differentiate this sound. Boom, tuck, boom, tuck. When you test it on a human being, you will see how easy it is. In order to auscultate, you will simply need one equipment called the stethoscope. That is the only thing you will use in order to hear the heart sounds. And there are some areas where you will put the stethoscope in order to do auscultation. The first area is the mitral or bicuspid area. It is located at the left fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line that is where we call mitral area just at the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line the second area is tricuspid area which is just above the cephoid process just at the rift side of the sternum the third area is the aortic area. It is at the second intercostal space at the right edge of the sternum. The pulmonary area, that is the fourth, it is at the second intercostal space, the same level as aortic area, but at the left edge of the sternum. So aortic it is at the right edge while pulmonary area it is at the left edge of the sternum now let's see how to do it on a human being now let's see cardiac auscultation area the first area is the mitral or bicuspid area it is at the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line you cross the line from the mid distance of the clavicle through the nipple that is the mitral area it is also the apex of the heart good then the tricuspid area it is above the cephoid process just at the rift edge of the sternum that is the cuspid area now this is the aortic area it is at the second intercostal space right edge of the sternum just second intercostal space right edge of the sternum now this is the pulmonal area it is at the same level as the aortic area 
second intercoastal space, but on the left edge or at the left edge of the sternum. Let us repeat once again the micro area. Remember, you hear the same sound on both, I mean, on all areas, but the sound are easily heard at the mitral area or the apex of the heart. You hear both S1 and S2 sounds. That sound like boom, tuck, boom, tuck, or rap, tap, rap, tap. So this is the mitral area or bicuspid area. Good. The fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. This is the tricuspid area above the cephoid process, left edge of the sternum, tricuspid area. Good. Let us move to the aortic area, that is the second intercostal space but at the right edge of the sternum, that is aortic area. This is the pulmonary area, second intercostal space, but left edge of the sternum. Remember, you will hear both sound at every oscillatory area. Good, but the sound are easily heard at the mitral area. Rate the video, share it to your colleagues, and don't forget to place subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. May God bless you. See you in another video next time. Thank you very much. Don't forget to place like, subscribe, and the bell.